How's it going, guys? I figured I'd do a little unboxing, the first one I've done. And I basically just started picking up some uh, die cast models because I wanted to build, I don't know, like a JDM uh, replica of like a shop or something like that with some of the previous cars I've owned or whatnot. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. So first thing is going to be this S15. I don't remember ordering S15. <laughs> that's weird. Okay, well, that's cool because I, I would like an S15 one day. And I forgot which website I ordered this from, but I'll throw that link in the bio in case anyone's curious. Let's see. Okay, so this is a shelving to hold the 164 scale. Sorry, I don't know if anyone can see that. There you go. Cool, so we got that. And now, let's see what's in here. This one, 8.6. So I used to own 8.6 back in the day. Uh, I sold it to one of my good friends um, and I collected hatch parts. So one day I would like to own another hatch, but this one, super cool, super clean. Cool, let's see what else. This one is going to be. Yeah, I've been like, I had this package for a bit and I figured, you know what, like, I need to get pack some practice at filming some videos, so I figured why not do a little unboxing. I know it's not NSX related really, but, you know, just wanted to film something else. Here's the FD. So I owned a Montego Blue FD before, and that's what I traded to get my NSX, uh, I don't know, eight years ago. So I traded that with some cash. And yeah, I would, an FD would be super cool to own again. I didn't own it long enough to have any issues with it. You know, I know I researched rotaries pretty well and I did a lot of the cooling mods. Um, but um, yeah, I just, I, I used to surf Craigslist a lot back in the days and uh, came across that, see if the guy wanted to trade. But my FD was in much better condition, but the price on them now, they're just so crazy. And I thought NSXs are always going to be worth more so i figured i'd get one eventually get another fd but then prices have been just insane you know back then you could get them in the 10k range you know maybe eight years ago and now they're like fetching up to you know 40 50k so s14 yeah i used to own s14 that was my daily for quite a while it was uh i forgot what the green is not it's not the moss one that it's kind of rare color. It's like the, the forest kind of green that everyone has. But I had that, daily that for a long time. Sold that to a friend as well. Told him to sell it to me. I hooked him up. Told him to sell it back to me. To like, or just let me know when he's going to sell it. And I might be interested in it again. And sure enough, never got hit up. So S2K. I did have a yellow S2K, it was a AP1, um, but it did have like the AP2 bumpers. That I ended up uh, selling because I needed a bigger car. So yeah, that was fun. I would definitely want another S2K, but now again, another car that's just gone up crazy in price. 34, one day, one day. GTRs, I remember looking at them and seeing them for like 50, 60K and now. I mean, they're, it's it's crazy. They've gone up. Same thing for Supras as well, I guess. Both of them just gone crazy in price. That's why we build this uh, diecast collection, right? So the affordable version, for sure. All right, let's see. So G fans, 164. So this just shows you how to assemble the shop. Um, 
I guess this is some of the shop pieces right here. I'll figure out how to do that later. Maybe I'll do a little assembly video or something like that, like a time lapse. And then the last thing in here, probably also part of that. Let's see. Oh, I see. So I guess you got to glue it on so this is what it's supposed to look like right here i guess maybe the usb lights it up yeah so this is it right here um i guess i'm gonna have to assemble this and then i'll show you guys maybe i'll do a little time lapse or something like that anyways uh i do plan on posting more nsx content i just i have some issues with the car right now but it is going to be going into the shop so yeah stay tuned for that and if there's anything else you guys want to see related to you know diecast or nsx content let me know catch you guys later peace out